just too many products, too many retailers, too much noise. gets overcrowded by retailers, it becomes more difficult for each retailer to be seen and heard by customers. This has produced various problems. For example, how do you attract a larger share of customers to your showroom? And if you have a new product, how do you inform people and arouse interest among buyers? Seeking solutions to such questions is vital. Ignoring them could cost the retailer his business. As a result, conveniently located showrooms pleasant exteriors spacious interiors and captivating displays are becoming popular. It would be wrong to say the displays are restricted to larger stores alone. Anybody who wishes to sell must display. sales display for mainly four purposes. To attract customers, to enhance interest in the product, some of the retailers themselves as to why they do sales display. Basically, it is uh, to boost up the sales and to attack the customers and uh, to tell the customer that what kind of oil, oil items we are selling in our supermarket. Sales display, if you mean by the window display, is a great pillar. It's a big pillar. We display the things, we attract the things, people, we tell the people about that window display, and we get the customers. If a day has to be systematically displayed so that the customer can easily pick up the product which is looking for. The display is, is very important to make uh, the showroom also attractive and also to attract the customers to buy more goods. With sales display, we can bring all our products to the knowledge of our customer. And it shows the combination and it helps in selling the combination sort of like if there's a nice pair of pants and a nice matching shirt or a t-shirt. A lot of customers going for that particular combination. So it helps in sales promotion too. But in addition to all this, sales displays also project the identity of retail outlets as well as enhance a product's personality. They stimulate the desire to buy, trigger moods, and even act as a silent salesperson. What does it take to create a successful sales display? A lot of artistic talent, imagination, and creativity. However, the available space, the type of merchandise, existing trends, and of course, the amount of funds become the guiding factors. Seeing so much variety, one guesses, 
How do they generate ideas? The job is uh, displayed by an Italian designer. The parent company uh, sent this designer to us. She came, I mean, when this shop was open, she came and told us about the mannequins and all these. Ideas we generate through a totally, you know, concept in the fashion trends, you know. The trends which we read, which we see, which we think is going to be, and then our advertisers, which is Mudra advertising company, we get through them, we create them a concept for the summer or the winter. And then we, whatever the concept they will have for the press advertising or the national advertising, then we draw the same concept through our window. I use my own imagination, my own ideas, but I do go and see the um, Connect Place, like Connect Place, your windows, cutting industries, in various places. Idea, source of idea is the name is the magazines, and to see around to the other countries and which we have developed here something and some of the idea we get from the materials. We have our own house magazine, from there we get idea and then we buy magazine also from abroad also, we subscribe it and there also we get idea. And then also we survey the market what people are doing new and if we find something attractive to us, we adopt it. Uh, well, I would say mostly as uh, we travel abroad quite a lot, at least two, three times a year. And they get idea of how the displays are done. And also inside this probably a particular product that you are selling. And we get the new ideas every time from there. In the process, ideas cross fertilize. Mannequins, racks, and similar looking displays are becoming common. Each store influences the other. Sometimes to the extent that each one loses its identity. Though most retailers claim to depend on their own ingenuity and gut feeling, there are professionals available for asking. Now implementing any idea costs money, but how much? We get very little expenditure for the whole year, like 6,000, 7,000, not more than that. The sky is the limit, whatever is required for a good display, we we spend that much of money, we go up to the tune of 50,000 rupees also. Hardly. That is, uh, uh, we are not uh, spending much more money on our displays. The basic reason, uh, our concept is altogether a different concept uh, and, uh, because it is a self-service concept. Some retailers believe that segmentation within the store helps business, while others don't. Well, it will look funny if you put all children wear and men's wear together. You have to have that kind of a segment, you know, where a customer is going for the full sleeve shirts, well, he is going there and for the full sleeve shirts. Or the half sleeves, or the shorts, or the pants. And it is easy for him to go and select the seed of white wool at one time. And that, that's why the children wear also. You see, the boy section is different. Or age wise also, we have put it because the customer is asking for a boy of two to six years or three years, so naturally he is going to that particular counter. Well, I would not uh, agree on that point. You will not like to do it. It should be your own individuality that you sell in your store. And uh, to make it uh, otherwise, when you must have a big department store, they will say, right, this age group. But I will not believe in this to mention at all. Yeah, definitely one has to. Otherwise, it's very difficult. If the product mix will not be there, and uh, if will not uh, divide the areas, it will be very difficult that, uh, for all our staff members also that which product is lying where. So we have accordingly we have told our uh, staff members that these products are on this particular floor, and we have given, we have given them our charts, and uh, we have got uh, uh, reports that these products we are dealing, and these are the products which we are uh, selling at our supermarket. <laughs> Only 
just using me because the best things stay that way. Like TV commercials, newspaper advertisements, and radio announcements, attractively dressed window displays can and do generate more store traffic and lead to increased sales. A store's window represents the consumer's first point of contact with the retailer. Through its displays, changed at regular intervals to expose passers-by to new merchandise and settings, the public quickly forms an impression about the firm and its personality. Retailers find it profitable to display brand new and popular items that have been advertised on TV and print. Also, goods that carry above average margins appear in the displays. And in pulse items, near cash register, or on tables, or in racks in front of the store. It is common to find news reporting out from most of the stores, and in some stores, the type of music is changed as many as four times a day. Bhajans in the morning, some six basic principles of aesthetics, which not only guide the designers. In the principle of unity, there are various elements of display such as merchandise, display materials, signs, accessories, etc. appear unified and can be seen as a whole, thus imparting a complete concept to the viewers. Balance. There is a harmony and the components of an item of display. Balance may be formal or informal. Formal balance believes in symmetry. That is, it has the same weight, height, or number of items on both the left and the right sides of the window display. Informal displays aim at being novel and extraordinarily attractive and thus asymmetrical in nature. The principle of proportion concerns with relative signs of the various objects of display. It involves the positioning of the objects in a certain pattern. Popular display patterns are the steps, fan, pyramid, and the zigzag. The principle of dominance means dominating the display scene by using specially made products or packs of size much larger than the original size or dominating with the use of unusual special effects as an attention arrester. The principle of contrast concerns with focusing on a product by stressing on the contrast 
such as displaying a light shaded product in a dark shaded background using contrasting colors of lights. This brings us to a very interesting point. Now biscuits and soaps in a supermarket are displayed openly, allowing themselves to be touched, examined and picked up. While jewelry is never displayed in the same way. Yabu jewelry is displayed differently than ready to wear garments. What then is the deciding factor? Sometimes it is the price, at other times it is the merchandise itself that determines the type of display for the product. Whatever the reason, the customer's point of view is never overlooked. In addition to the six broad general principles of aesthetics of display, there are some seven distinct types of displays. When a retailer puts a wide variety of merchandise on display, it is called an assortment display. It could either be open as in a supermarket or closed as in a jewelry shop. Using a market segmentation approach, Lifestyle displays are used by retail stores, focusing on the activities, interests, and attitudes of a segment of customers. Coordinated or ensemble displays use the approach of suggestive selling. The entire range of products such as shoes, socks, shorts, shirt, jacket, and even rackets and bags are kept on display simultaneously. The unit displays Use merchandise that are identical in size, color, shape, use, etc. In classification dominance displays, the focus is on exhibiting a large variety of width and depth of the product lines carried by the store. Light displays are normally used by clothing and household goods retailer who meet the hanging or presenting the products. Sometimes a theme becomes the central idea of a display. Themes are topics or subjects around which artistic creations are spun. Theme displays work on the principle of unifying the merchandise and display around the common theme or event. The theme may relate to national, international, or local event, a season, a festival. The event could be internal to the store itself. When displays are such an involved job and demand so much attention, how do retailers assess the strengths of their work? It's my Monday, so we have a weekly review. Uh, the thing that we display in the window. And uh, we come to know how many pieces or what we have sold in that particular week. And uh, we correlate it uh, with the display in the window that we have. Whatever we display and we get the results immediately. If you have, uh, as you have seen, the present company which is going on for Snow White Whites, the sales of the white shirts and the white garments has boosted up like anything. Otherwise, we would have, won't be able to do that much of sales. Well, it has gone up to 100 percent. 200 percent, maybe 300 percent. It has increased the sales not only of whites, it has increased the sales of other items also. So, since it is a continuous process of window display, the increase, I mean, if you don't have window display, the sale will reduce by 30 percent. So, I have seen really whatever we displayed in window is, you know, very fast selling. We people are getting a say, our daily sales report every day in the evening, and we are watching the, what kind of product we are selling and what is the total offtake of our product day to day basis. And apart from that, we are watching our uh, daily rep uh, weekly reports also and monthly reports also. And after that, after seeing that report, we are uh, changing our displays accordingly. Suppose, and uh, by visual also, suppose if we are on the floor and we are watching that this particular product is not moving from one particular shelf, so what is the reason? And accordingly, we are changing the displays. Though extremely challenging, the attempt by each retailer to stand out in the crowd continues ceaselessly.
Nice. But it's gone to display it. How else would I know where to get my stuff from? Mm.